Hi, today we have uh, another PS3. Uh, this one works, uh, but Bluetooth and Wi-Fi doesn't work. So I bought it specifically uh, to make this video. I'm kind of hoping that this one, as opposed to the previous one, uh, the video that I did on previous one, um, I'm kind of hoping this one actually has faulty Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi chip so that I can show you how to replace this. Uh, in the previous one, which I'll link somewhere here, um, the only the, the DC converter was faulty and uh, we didn't need to replace the Bluetooth Wi-Fi module. So hopefully um, this one... Um, <laughs> or well, I'm kind of hoping in this one uh, Bluetooth um, Wi-Fi module, actual Bluetooth Wi-Fi module is faulty. So this one is not in bad shape. Um, everything works again uh, except Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It has been opened clearly, previously, so I'm hoping there's no um, <laughs> major damage inside. And uh, everything seems to be in place, it's just this um, this little rubber feet is missing, but I have um, plenty of spares, so I'll, I'll replace that. Apart from that, scratches, but uh, yeah, it's a nice device, it's just, um, again, um, the uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi doesn't work. So I'll take it apart, and uh, I'll take it under the micro microscope, we'll do some measurements, and we'll see how it goes. So this is the board, um, this is the area that we are interested in, specifically this uh, little chip. Um, so what we should be getting, we should be getting 5 volts on this line here and on this input. Uh, I believe this should be 3 volts and this should be um, on this pin here, that's pin 1 I believe. Uh, we should have 1.8 or around volts which then goes to the Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth chip. So, first of all, what I'll do, I'll um, go ahead and test if there are any shorts. Um, because if we have um, short on this line, or the, the 1.8 volt line, that would most likely suggest the faulty Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip. So, one um, probe on ground. This is, hopefully you can hear the beeping. So, black probe on ground, and then let's have a look, let's check here. So, no, clearly we don't have a short here, let's check 5 volts line, so either here or this, this vias. So, no short here, and this should be ground, yes it is, this, and then 3 volts. So we don't have any shorts, so uh, I'll plug the the board uh, so that we have standby power, and I'll switch to uh, volts, so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'll plug the power. So what we should have and again, I have black probe on, on ground. So what we should have again, we should have 5 volts um, here, this line, so which we do. We should have 3 volts, 3.3 volts here, we do. And then we should have 1.8 volts here. And we don't, we have 0. Uh, so exactly the same situation as in my previous video, so this chip is faulty and uh, it doesn't output 1.8 volts but again this is a um, good sign because that means we most likely won't have to replace Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip which is uh, kind of pain to replace so uh, I'll go ahead and replace that chip and We'll see what we can do then. Okay, so my fume, fume extractor should be on. And uh, as usual, we'll just heat up this area and uh, remove the chip. It's fairly simple, straightforward procedure. Um, just, I just need to make sure I'm careful not to knock off any of these components.
And by the way, I have a 470 degrees Celsius, 60% airflow. It will take some time to heat up the board. It's, uh, it's thick, so it will take a little bit of time. And the chip is out. And I think, yeah, I think I'll uh, remove this um, lead free solder and uh, tin it with some leaded solder. So we'll add some flux first. Add some fresh leaded solder to the area. It'll be easier to remove the... Actually, I'll flip the board a little bit. It'll be easier for me to do this way. If I can find the chip now. There it is. Okay, so let's remove that let it so there now. That should be okay. Clean it off. Okay, so we'll add some fresh solder. Obviously, fresh flux first. Just to thin this, uh, these pads. I have a little bit too big of a tip, but that's okay. Okay, we should be good. Clean this off again. Okay, so fresh flux, and we'll put the chip back. Um, I'll rotate the board again because again it will be easier for me to put the chip this way. Now pin one is right here, so we need to rotate the chip just like that yeah so again pin one right here and right here so I'll just position the chip actually I'll hit the board first so I have uh, 470 and 25 percent airflow now I just don't want to this chip to fly away so I'll put it in first. Just try and position it. That's what I was afraid of. Okay. And in place nicely, I think. Ah. OK. 
Okay, and we'll push on it now. This chip is very, very small, so I need to be careful. Just like that. Okay. And we have um, um, some solder here, that's okay. We can get rid of it. So I'll add some fresh flux and go over the chip again. The board is very hot and the flux is melting pretty much instantly. So let's try and get there just like that. Okay, we should be okay. So I'll clean the area again. The board is still very hot, by the way. So we have the power connected again, so again black probe on the on the ground and let's see if we have the voltages. So 5 volts, 3 volts and let's see what we have here. 2.3. Again I don't know why it's 2.3. Um, I thought and this is the feedback line, I think. So this chip is regulating, I think, the, the output on this pin here. So well, 2.3, almost 2.4. And this is the feedback, so I, I, I don't know. Uh, previously I was worried I had a Chinese chip. I was worried it, you know, may have been a bad chip or something, but this came from a reputable dealer, so and again, it's the same thing. So, but anyway, uh, so as you can see, we have the voltage. It's not 1.8, it's 2.3. Maybe it, it, it is 2.3, I don't know. Uh, I thought it, one point, it, it, it should be 1.8, but uh, clearly 2.3. So anyway, I'll reassemble the board again, and we'll see if we have uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. If we do, then that's done. If we don't, then we'll need to replace the Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip. Okay, so I uh, reassembled the console. I just I, I put everything. To be honest, um, I think it'll be perfectly fine. So I just put the new thermal paste and all that. So it's uh, kind of fully reassembled. Um, it's uh, connected to the power. I'm not sure you can see the red light here. So. Um, yeah, let's let's see. I'm pretty sure it will work. Um, a controller is also connected. This one is uh, pretty beat up, as you can see, but it works. So um, let me switch um, the console output and let's power it on. As I said, it, it was working perfectly fine. It's just the um, uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth wasn't working. So uh, let's see if it works now. So it's starting up. Okay, let's see if we can see and connect to Wi-Fi. So internet connection settings, okay. 
and choose custom wireless scan. Yeah, it can see the networks, so let me just see if it can connect. Uh, I'll just do it offline, so let me turn that off. Okay. Looks like it's working. Yep. So this works perfectly fine. Let's just test Bluetooth. Let me just. Uh, so I'll just uh, actually you have. You need to see that. So let me just disconnect the USB, and let's see if it works. And it does. So everything works perfectly fine. Okay. So um, this didn't work out as I wanted it to. I mean, I um, wanted you to see how I did how how to replace the Wi-Fi chip, but again, um, in this case, it was again that uh, small uh, power converter or DC converter, whatever that that small chip is. And again, uh, I'll I'll um, put a link to my previous video where you you can see the name of the chip, the specification, and all that. So have a look at that at the other video. Um, yeah, so so that that's it. I, I don't see there's a I don't don't think there's a point in replacing working Wi-Fi chips. So I'll leave it as it is. I'll just put it fully back together, and uh, yeah, that's it. If I ever find a PlayStation that or PS3 that has faulty uh, actually faulty uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth, then I'll I'll do another video. But again, for this one, it was the, that that small little chip again. Uh, thank you very much. That's that's all for today. If you like my videos, please uh, like, please subscribe, and share my videos if you can. Thank you.